What's going on everybody and welcome to Anno 1800. Uh, today we are going to be starting a new campaign. Uh, I've been playing it here and there, uh, just trying to get the feel for it. So we're going to start a new campaign and go through the story mode and everything and try to work our way up to uh, the actual sandbox mode. You can, uh, you can actually just jump into sandbox mode if you really want to. But we're not going to do that. We're going to start in campaign mode and actually go through. And hopefully you guys like it. If you guys do, please give me a big thumbs up and let me know what you guys think. That way I know if I should keep doing this, playing it, and uh, see if you guys actually want to see more of it. So um, let's go ahead and continue here. Eggy Clabo. No, that is not me. That, that's not me at all. What is... No. I don't even know what language that is. Alright, so... We're gonna go ahead and take the Imperial Train and the Imperial Command Ship and the Anno 1602 Memorial. And normal mode. Why not? Start it out here. And here we are, Anno 1800. Since that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened, yet one scribbled from your sister changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. Dynamite fishing? You're serious? <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. I right. remember when we escaped the pits okay. back when. Still some dynamite left. You done yet, dude? You done? Can I talk now? <laughs> Alright, so we gotta take this little fishing trolley boat type thing here and just get kind of close to the lighthouse. That way we can pick up the dynamite. Here it is. There we just go. Just get plenty of distance on the throw. Go ahead and take that. And then here's our little fishes. Go ahead and cruise on over to that point so we don't have to throw the dynamite as far. Click on the dynamite. And boom! Roasted fish. Two. Get used to that smell of char. And there's three. Alright. Oh, go ahead and pick the these up. Chewy was that boom. All the blistered fish they could ever want. Head on up here and drop off the fish. All fishes. the blistered fish they could ever want. You just said that, buddy. <laughs> With that first bang, I knew it was you. So come show me what you got this time. All right. Ah, that burnt reek. Ugh. Hand over whatever it is, and I'll help you get rid of it. Okie doke. There you go. Here are your tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon, and nobody wants you to miss it. Where's the boat? Oh. So, this is it. We're leaving paradise behind. You never talked much about family and the like. But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? No matter. I made a vow to defend you. And I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. Of dung. <laughs> I have never asked anything of you, firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe. 
leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Our father no, is accused of high treason. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand I by, knowing shaken. gentle father is endungeoned? It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. Going home. Is it really you, dearest sibling? I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of course you do. We loved it here. It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. You never said how wealthy you were. Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Never told your friend of good and sons. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. Where have you been? Without you brats, we'll never be done with this obligation. Looks like death claimed the wrong brother. No matter, so few are here, when they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. We shall, dear sibling, for now. I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds, and passage for all still loyal to father. Together, we shall clear his name, or die trying. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. This is it. Ditch water. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. Like it quiet. Alright, so this should be the start of chapter one. A tale of two brothers. Alright, so... What? Still here? Establishing a rival company? On blah, blah, blah. that disheveled <laughs> island? Let Uncle Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you're at all like father, you'll look beyond appearances. We must shelter the good, loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. We need every hand we can get if we are to expunge this debris. I forgot how much, uh... People talked at the beginning here. All right, so now to start off, we need one marketplace. We need houses to hold 10 farmer residences. And, or we need 10 farmer residences and also hold up to 50 farmers. So we don't want to get too, too carried away here right at the beginning. Um, because... You can build too fast, and that's not a good thing. So, what am I doing? Um, let's do it this other way. Try something a little bit different here. Get rid of that. Let's see how... There's one, two... Two... I'm not quite sure. So I want to try to get it to where I'm able to get, let's see, might have made it one too wide to be honest with you. Um, let's do it this way. 
pick that up. All right. So now, um, we need to have it to where we can get timber. Need to have timber. Where? Oh, where? Materials. There we go. That's what I was looking for. All right. So we need a logging area and some timber very good exactly i'll try not to think of the coffin yeah you try not to think of the coffin let's see road going to there and road connecting up to there and then we can start building a few houses here you reached a new milestone Yay! So there's that. And the market... I might put on this side. So I kind of want to leave this spot open for like a garden type thing, maybe? I'm not sure yet. I want to leave this open area in the middle. I know that. But we do need... A marketplace. Go ahead and spin that around. Like that. And Do these guys should happy. Oh, is there this we go. some futile attempt at competition? Alright. As you are so desperate Ooh. to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. Of course it would. Miserly, uncharitable dastard, picking and choosing what he inherits. You know what? Actually, that would work. Let's do that. Oh. Out of lumber. Wee's all out of lumber. Connect that up there. Okay, so now we need a warehouse. And we need 10 lumber for a warehouse. So we're going to be sitting here for a little while. Because we have zero no lumber. To take it. So the lumber is actually going to keep getting saved. piled up here, I do believe, because it's... No, it's not. Hey, we can scrap stuff. Alright, sweet. That's gonna help us out. See what slander Edvard Prince and Bright Sands. Um, oh. Samuel's child, is it? Thank heavens. I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had to print. Alright, so Edvard, the savior. Uh, speaks of bold new era for good and sons, nobly bearing the burden, terrible traitor, brother dropped at his door. Traitor dies mysteriously in prison. Uh, island sail calamity. He twists every article in his favor at our and father's expense. Can we get rid of... Hey, we can get rid of that one too. That should give us the proper lumber needed for this. And we'll be able to go ahead and get this one going. And then we'll have another road come off up here. And we'll put another logging camp up there. So that way extra logs are coming into the lumber mill that way. Speed this up a little bit. So yeah, there's ruins all over the island as of right now. Like, there's one big one here. Um, some of these you can't get rid of right away. Um, you need to actually have enough people in your on your island to be able to get rid of it. So... All right, so right now, now it's saying, since I got 50 people now, uh, Father, clear ruin residence district 01. On our hands while our one prospect was in such a state. 
So let's gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. Already on top of it. See? Is eased. Now we have others for company, sibling. Can we get rid of this one too? It's nope. been a hard Not day yet. of labor for us all. We should cater to our tired, hungry people. All right, maybe we should. Need one fishery, and then we need to house another 50 farmers. So let's go ahead and... Consumables. Consumables. Uh, let's put the fisheries down here. Might work out a little bit. In our favor, we'll go with two right now. And we need some roads to hook them bad boys up. Uh, where is... Okay, it stops right there. Uh, let's go ahead and take that on up so that way connect up to this warehouse. Alright, so now we need to house another 50 farmers. Let's go ahead and just continue out one more row here. Like this. Oops. Good thing about this is you can move it. Then we'll drop one more house. Like so. And then we'll go ahead and oops. I'll build these ones up as well. And that puts us up to 61. So let's go ahead and we'll start building out this direction, I think. But we're not going to come out here with it. Oops, there's another one we can take out. Um, we're going to come up here. Come off this way. Like that. And skip a row. Oh, out of lumber. That's all right. Because we'll build them as we go. Ah! There we go. Okay, so now we got six lumber. We should be able to do three houses. There we go. We're up to 96. 96 out of 100. You reached a there we go. Milestone. Abandoned Market District O out of one. I think that's what... Oh, it's this one up here. Let's get rid of that guy. Help enough to demolish the larger ruins. Let's breathe some life into this place. Yes, let's do. Lumber, 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 lumber. It's been a long, hard day. The people need to rest. And maybe wet their whistles. Wet their whistles. We need to sustain a 70% of schnapps supply for one minute. Attract 141 out of 150 farmers. Or 150 farmers. We've got 143 out of 150. And that's still rising right now. And we need one pub. Um, that's what I usually build along with the market at the very beginning. But I didn't do it this time. So let's go ahead and build a pub. We're going to stick her right over in here for now. And we're going to need a fire station too. Put the fire station over here on this side since the pub's on the other side. Put that there. And they need to take a minute or so to train up. And But once they do, they can go ahead and travel throughout and help protect our newly developing city. Okay, so now I need to make a schnapp supply. So as of right now, um, let's see here, schnapps, we need potatoes, and a distillery. So the thing of it is, is that, we need to figure out, usually it tells you what your city is able to to handle but it doesn't say that for right now so let's see if we can I know it, if you're not able to plant something it will tell you that your grounds not fertile 
enough to be able to handle it. So, um, we're going to stick our farm down here in this area as we just scared off a bear or something. I don't know. Um, so let's go ahead and bring this all the way over to the coast. And then we're going to put it in a potato farm. Potato. Potato, potato. Click on that. And come straight down with it and over. Oops. Of course, we're going to be one shy. So instead of having that little notch right there, what I'll do is get my little hand tool and move this one on up to the front. There's that. And then we need a distillery. We'll put that down by the farm. And then we'll also need to have a warehouse close by. Um, as you can see, we've got another ruins there, but we cannot get rid of that one yet. Um, that one re uh, will give us bricks. And since we haven't gotten to the level yet for brick making, we can't demolish that one. So we're just going to deal with that for right now. But this is going to be working. And you can see up here, um, this is the farmer workforce with the pitchfork. So as of right now, I'm plus 110. Uh, it was 109, now it's 110. Um, and you can keep your eye on that. If, you're, if your farmer labor is getting too low, just add more farming residences and then eventually you'll get into artisans and then uh forget what the next one after that is um up here's your population uh your influence this is your balance it, what it's actually doing if it's going negative or if it's going positive right now we're going negative 157 um but this is our actual total right now so that, this here will determine on how fast this goes up or down. So, um, so as of right now, we need to get this guy up and going. Because this one was just hanging out, saying, hey, I need some place to stick this stuff. So, alright, so we need 70% or better for one minute. So once it hits 70%, we need to keep it there for a minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in another one. And we're going to start in this corner this time and work our way down this way. Let's see here. 56 out of 72. Game saved. 69 out of 72. 69 And we should be able to... We'll just come back here with it. That'll add more potatoes. We might add another distillery, to be honest with you. Let's add another another distillery there. So right now we're still a positive 49. And you can see our happiness just went up. And the counter has started moving. We're at 77 out of 70 percent It's an eternity since the funeral. And the cost! Oh, why, it was extortionate. Repay me now, or sell up. Repay me now, or sell up. I feel sick to the stomach that Edvard could ask so much of us so soon after father's death. So, you're going to have people throughout the map. That's what's missing down here. Why is... That's what it is. World map. For some odd reason... It's not showing me the world map down here. Don't leave your crate unattended, sir. That's what's missing. The world map should be showing right here, but it's not. That's our diplomacy. That's everybody who we will your people encounter. Are and desirous to proceed. Set them to it. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. Alright, so we got that one for a church district. Can we get this one cleared out yet? Nope. Alright, so... Right now, we're working on how much schnapps we have in storage for repaying debts, I suppose. Um, and we were supposed to be clearing this, which we just did. So let's go ahead and pick up that lumber. 
And I suppose Speak to our humble cousin. He writes of a worker riot in Bright Sands. Okay, so we need to go back Seems to Bright we're Sands. Not alone in our contempt for Edvard. All right, so we need to go talk to our cousin Ready and to repay my charity. Stop interrupting. It's very impolite, Edvard. Yes, I will pay you, so shut up. Don't think you're finished, brat. I know I'm not. No, I'm not a brat. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. I loathe the mm. reek of lanolin, but if farmer's smocks are all you have... He's gonna come back for clothes, then he's gonna come Is back for no sales. Is there limit to uncle's shameless demands? He's gonna come back a couple other times. He doesn't shut up for a while. Um, so let's go ahead and... Oh yeah, we haven't started work closed yet. Um, we're gonna go find our cousin in, uh, White Sand... Or, uh, White Sands. Wow. Uh, whatever. The Bright Sands. I was close. Alright, so when you click on this, um, it should take you pretty close to the vicinity on where you need to go. And I think I just found him. If you hover over... People... The person you need will actually highlight. So if you hover over these guys, it won't do anything. But if you hover over him, like found cousin, bam. We'd rather die than stay. Our flag still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more. Alrighty. Fine, rioting mob. Zero out of five. So we found one. Oop. Go the other way. Uh, there's got to be more. There's, ooh, that's a big one. That's a big one. There's two. Oh, is that... Is that two separate ones? There was. There's three. Four. Oh, there's like three different mobs right there. All in the same area. All right, so we need one more angry mob. Can we find... Let's get the top aerial view here. Scroll around. Oop, there's one. Oops, wrong button. Away from Edvard, we're on board. Only, we've no ship to get on board of. He said ship. See? No, ship. <laughs> if you pick me, you may have my boat. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. And uh, this is a pretty big map. Oh, there we go. Here's the map now. Sweet. Um, and this will tell you what all the islands have to offer. Like this island here has uh, grain fertility, house fertility, fur abundance, and nit nitrate deposits. And then iron, coal... Zinc, copper, and limestone. And then the map is pretty big here. Um, you can see this is my island. This is the island we're on now. This is all darkened out or fogged over. And uh, once you go through the fog, basically clears out for you. So let's go ahead and select the editor. And here's a ship. Select the editor's ship at the harbor. Everybody on board? Good. I, I, I shiver at the thought of staying here another second. All right. What? Has your cleft of the family no shame that it now resorts to abducting my workers? The Queen's Ambassador himself shall hear of this. Abduction is a severe accusation. And if I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. Pencil polishing, Popinjay. I should have been rid of you long ago. I see nothing criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the crown. 
And as for you, I have quite forgotten my manners. Sir Archibald Blake, ambassador and confidant to the Queen. Despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid, while this brat is living the life of O'Reilly. Sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Edvard registered the debt officially. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. Indeed. Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Now that sounds like good news. As to the debt, my hands are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. All right. So Maybe now Edvard will try we're to get interrupted. Us owning a shipyard. <laughs> but for now, let's at least house those workers. All right. So like I was saying, so now we have our own ship to move goods in. It's not a a ship to really fight with, but it can carry cargo and stuff like that. So now we have to upgrade a worker residence. So let's go ahead and do that. These houses here are closest to the farm, so I'm going to upgrade something back here first. See if we can do that. Nope, we cannot upgrade yet. Whatever you do, master, keep doing it. So when you click on a house to upgrade, you'll see an upgrade or downgrade and you'll have a circle here for how many residents we need. 10. Right now we have 8 out of 10. Down here will tell you what their needs are to be able to actually upgrade. So here's the market. We have that, food, or in this case fish, um, and work clothes. So as of right now, we need to get a farm in for sheep so that way we can start building work, uh, making work clothes. So let's see here. Work clothes. Click on this and it'll tell you what you need. Sheep farm. Let's go ahead and plop one of those down here. One, two, three. And then a clothes factory. And then what we're going to do, we're going to wrap this around here like that. Then we're going to put in... Uh, let's see if this works. If not, we can always move it. Um, it's not, I can't put it down there. Uh, that, that's not going to work. So let's go ahead and move this. Over to here. And maybe, can we squeeze one in there? Nothing there. We can put one... We'll just do it that way. And you see like a little cog floating here, and that was telling you you don't have enough farms. So for sheep farms, you need three fields. And then we'll put in another close factory here. So that way we got two close factories. We need more farmers here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And as you can see, I like using the grid system here. Just makes it a little bit easier. And a little bit more organized, for the most part. Oop. There we go. Bring these streets down. 
Let's bring this street up and over so that way that's connected. As you can see, we're pretty much keeping it one and one over here, but in the center it's basically two and two. As you can see what I'm saying. So that has put us up to 40. Oop, there we took a nice little jump. Got negative seven, six. And we need we need more people. Let's probably go ahead and build more over here on this side. That should put us up to what we need. Right now we're just even. There we go. Now we're starting to get to the positive side again. Alright. So now oop, we got a special mission down here. So let's see what this is. I've summit to put before a townsperson. Twenty taters. Alright, so this one here, it shows the crate here, but let's see what it actually Are you wants. Darning the things yourself? Oh hush. So this farmer's had a very good harvest of potatoes. So good so good they have too many. She thought you could put the surplus to good use. Pick up the gift by clicking on the box next to the quest giver. Alright, so some of them are pretty easy, like this one. Other ones you really gotta start looking around for stuff, like Gives finding like different animals. Family. And, uh, people, so on and so forth. So it's just like little mini missions. Alright, so now we're up to 66 to the good. Alright, so this one we don't do anything, we just sit here and wait for that one. Uh, we need four work clothes uh, in storage. We're working on that. And we still need to try to get um, get it to where we can upgrade. I got me family. Here we go. But now there's only three in that one. Let's see. But if you right click and then hit upgrade, you'll have these arrows. And it'll tell you exactly what houses you can actually upgrade. So... Let's go ahead and we'll just start up here in the front because it's closest to the port. So we'll just start up here. A new milestone. Age of industrialization. So now we should be able to start with bricks. So because of that, you can see up here now we have bricks. With so several passionate young reporters enlisted, our publishing house is already well underway. Nice. Now we Workers should be can able. handle stubborn debris on Ditchwater. If it's to be the center of our new enterprise, it needs to be immaculate. Yes, I agree. That's why I said I was trying to. That's uh, what we ask. Hush. You guys Game done? Saved. All right. So now should be able to click on this, and yes, we got the bar that is being demolished. Is possible without plenty of qualified hands. So over here we need 30 or 150 workers, which is now you see we have the farmer workforce with the pitchfork. Now we actually have a worker workforce with the hammer. All right, so now we have all four of these. Are you donning the things yourself? Four work clothes. We should be good to go on this. How do damn you? Don't be swearing at me. Don't need to be. You know, don't need to do that, okay? Okay. All right, so with four houses, we had 36 Tell workers. Me you've managed something. Yes, we did. Thank you. Come again. Baba, black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four bags full. All righty, then. All right, so now we're actually in the positive with money, so we're actually making money now, which is also really good. So let's go ahead and upgrade these four here. Oh, ran out of work clothes. Yep, ran out of work clothes. But it shouldn't take too much longer to get what we need. So now up here, it also has the attractiveness. Um... Just so you know, the more pollution you have in the air, the more farms you have, such as pigs, sheep, cows, that actually takes away from the city attractiveness. So what I'm going to do is once I can get an actual decent sized island, like a separate island, a second island, I'm going to move all the farms onto that island and then have all the animals shipped over here to the facilities. 
So that's what I'm going to do. So that way we have, hopefully later on, we have no farms on this island. Um, unless we absolutely have to. So that way we don't have to really worry about too much. So let's get these bricks over here. We got that. All right, clear abandoned smeltery. Where are you at? You're all the way up yonder. Okay, let's clear you out. So here you can see clay pits. There's uh, one there. Let's go ahead and clear this bad boy out here. Um, there should be another clay pit over here. No, where's it at? There's one, there it is. There's one there. There should be another one up here. All right, so. That was a small one here that we got. This one's still taking a little bit longer. Let's try to clear out some of this debris here. Get some materials in the process. Speed up. There we go. Get some bricks. Why is this one taking a while? That's a small one. Somebody shut that dog up. All right. So now, do we have enough work clothes? We should, we should, we should. Upgrade. All right, so that's 80. Our editorial section is sure to grow along with your city. We are fine tuning the first issue as we speak. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Editor. All right, actually, the house that I just put in should put us up to 150, but I want to finish these three houses here um what we could do while we're waiting on that let's go ahead and put another lumber mill in or a logging yard here do that then we'll put in a row ad like that so that way we just got more logs going into the lumber mill here and we should be good to go on these. So let's go ahead and upgrade these. Oop, we're able to upgrade one. Okay. So now we have 49 farmers and 140. You got to really keep an eye on that because you start thinking about just the workers, then all of a sudden you're negative in the farmers because every time you upgrade the house, it basically kicks the farmers out of town and gives you the workers. That's what it is. So it goes farmers, workers, artisans, um, and then I forget what the next one is after that. But right now we're just trying to work on workers so that way we have enough workers uh, saved up for when we start building these mines and stuff over the, the, the clay quarries. You reached a new milestone. Port Town. I know it says something about building a uh, shipping yard too, so we're gonna have to do that. And eventually, you have father's fortitude. These people will follow you as they once followed him. Yeah, you better believe it. Um, eventually, I will move these also away from the front. Area so Your all this stuff will just be houses. Barely covered anything. Now bring me sails. It's not like you have any use for them. Not yet. Clearly, Uncle's intention is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard. All right, there's that one. So now we need sails. So we do have sheep, but we're gonna need more. That's why I'm saying every time you put in stuff, I mean, you, you need to really keep an eye on it because it does affect the attractiveness of your city. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and place a road in there like that. And it is connected up now to the warehouse. So we should be good there. Make sure we're able to put fields in behind here. Then a sail maker. What's holding this up? Lumber. We need eight lumber. We got three. Okay. 
Should we put in another lumber mill? I think I'm thinking we do. Let's put in another lumber mill here. That way, we, all these. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? So this one hasn't even been working. What the heck? That's messed up, man. Do we need to move this closer? Let's move this closer. I'm not. I don't want to build another one. Let's see if moving this here. There we go. That worked. So now that one's working. That's why my lumber hasn't been going up. Not as fast, anyways. Alright, so now I got an exclamation point over this one because this is the only warehouse in this section. And as you can see, it's getting fairly busy. So as of right now, there's only two loading ramps available. And I got two that are waiting. Um, we can't upgrade because we need bricks and lumber. We need 10 more bricks and we need like a bunch more lumber. So let's see here. Let's start clearing out more areas here. Let's get this free supplies. Is there any more? There's one there, one there, one up here. Uh, one there, one there. Another one there. Alright, let's... Oop, there's one right here too. Alright, so let's start collecting this Couple stuff copy. up. You've been playing for two hours. I've been playing for two hours. This ought to help us out. You gotta really watch out before you click on this because it'll tell you if you have room for that material or not. Because if you click on it, it just gets thrown out. It does, you know, you just basically lose all of that stuff. Oh, there's another area there. That one's still being worked on. Let's see. Oh. Pick up timber. Pick up timber. And pick up timber. Okay, so I think that's pretty much all the spots to really clear up. Let's double check here real quick. Um, nope, there's one there. Yeah, I think that was pretty much all of them. So we should be able to build this now. Get those sales going. Game saved. Let's speed this up. And there we go. Let's go ahead and slow this down. And oop. I just lost that lumber because storage is full. That's what I was trying to say. You see how that red box popped up right before I clicked? I, I didn't pay attention. I should have. Alright, so do I have... Yes, I do have enough to upgrade this. So that gives me three loading ramps. And the exclamation point went away. So that should help us out for now. You know, for the time being. Alright, so we're working on the sails. Let's see what it'll take for a harbor. Sailing shipyard, we don't have anything for that yet. We can put in depot, fishing, harbor master's office, mounted guns. Alright, so we can't really do anything yet. I thought it said something about a sailing shipyard, but I guess not. Um, put in a church. Let's go ahead and put it the church in. Let's go ahead and slap her in right now. That's going to be off center, ain't it? Gosh dang it. Oh well. Um, We'll still put her up in here. Somehow. I wish you can like get it to where you can get it to where it doesn't snap to grid. But this game doesn't allow you to do that, so... We'll just put it in right there. And then... What we'll do... Is one... Is one... Two... Alright, so it doesn't matter. 
It's a little bit further than the actual houses, so we'll just put the road up and around it. Can we... Okay, we'll just do that then. Alright, so now we need 25 bricks. And we're running out of bricks. So we're definitely... We got plenty of lumber now. We're up to 69 lumber. So let's go ahead and take this road up, because we need to start working on bricks. We've got to have bricks, because it's just slowing us way down. Clay pit. Brick factory. Brick Grab factory. And... Small warehouse. Where are my sails? You got them, dude. Nothing you do will lift the cloud. Okay, so now as you can see, I got ten workers. So that means I... Haven't I'd... seen a prison transport of mine, have you? If you do, uh, be sure to return any salvage to me. To you, huh? Okay. So, also missions will also be little orange dots on your map down here. So as you can see, it's kind of covered in fog right here. There's a couple of spots here. So let's go back over here. We'll uh, click on our ship. And, oh, he's full. But and we'll take our ship and put it over here so that way we can pick up this stuff. All right, so our... One guy is full here. That means we don't have enough people because our fishermen are actually overproducing right now. So we need more farmers. We only have nine farmers. So let's go ahead and work on that. Put another row of houses in. That? Uh, I don't want to put that there. I don't want to put that there. I really don't want to put that there. Do it that way. And then what we'll do... We'll move these up. Okay, drop down, drop down, drop down. Okay, can this firehouse reach? No, it cannot. Game saved. So let's put a firehouse in here. Now the only reason why this space is here is because we made it a little bit larger for the church. Um. But after this, it'll get back to normal size. I kind of want to take this road out right here. That way we have enough room for like a garden area behind the church. That way it's not just a street, church, street. You know what I'm saying? Let's take this road out. They'll live. Use a ship to rescue. Oh yeah, we got a ship out here, don't we? Duh. Okay. So we'll pick up this, pick up that. Saved. Do you also then save us from a grievous injustice? I don't know. Do Edward's I? charges against us are pure fabrication. The man is an imposter. A letter. It bears Edvard's seal. Don't even think about sheltering Samuel's co-conspirators. Deliver them to prison at once, and I might lift your debt. Okay, so if we take him to Open prison... the letter. He's clearly up to no good. Okay, so if we take him to prison, However then... However much we despise Gosh, dang it. Uncle Edvard, it's criminal to go opening his private correspondence. Okay, I think they're done. Alright, so if we take them to prison where they just escaped from, then pretty much our debt's paid off for Edward. Edward, Edvard, whatever. But we're going to open up this letter here. One of the traitors, Samuel's conspirators. So it basically lists people that were close 
to our father. It's pretty much what it is. It cannot be. These names are those father trusted most. Barristers, doctors, academics. Even I am astonished he could be this corrupt. We must put their cases before the highest authority and hope for a retrial. He certainly knows how to silence his critics. All right, so as you can see, the fog is being lifted. So we just found this island here, but our ship is going around the outer edge and it does have a radius around the ship where it makes the fog disappear. And down here, I'll tell you which direction the wind is blowing so that way you know which direction your ships are going to move the fastest and which direction your ships are going to move the slowest. So if you're like attacking somebody, you kind of want to take a route where your ships are going to go faster. Or if you're out trying to outrun somebody, you want to try to take the faster route. So it, it uh, does have a, a delivery dead or alive does have a, a nice system to it. Think turning in sinners maketh you an angel. I know all about your family. Do you? You know? have seen sense then. I suppose I shall have to inform Sir Archibald that your obligations are met. Debt free, spiffing, just the dib dab. Ha <laughs> ha! One splendid license we shall draw up forthwith. All right. I am so relieved our legitimacy is no longer in question. All right, so that should be done. We don't have any Tally, more. I already smell the tar. Oop. See the masts are swaying from father's study. Okay, so we do have one quest. We need to build a sailing shipyard. So let's get our ship back on over here. And then we need to build a shipyard. Let's get back over in building, harbor, and sailing shipyard. Uh, let's go ahead and put her right there. Then we'll take it. Game save. Build a road. Oops. Oh well, that'll work. There we go. Okay, so now we need 25 bricks. And we need 100 workers. And we only have 10 right now, so... Let's start building out this direction with the houses. And then we'll start upgrading them as we go when we can. Now there's nothing we can do about this spot here around the firehouse. So we'll just go ahead and do this, connect that up like that. And do that. All right, can we build the church yet? Nope, need 25 bricks for that too. Okay. See if we can upgrade some of these. No, they're still still getting people. All right. So, for some odd reason, okay. So, it is producing again. I was gonna say for some odd reason it was saying we had don't have enough fish, but this guy wasn't producing fish for a while. So, um, we need more clothes too. We need to keep an eye on that. We need to uh, make sure we keep producing the proper amount of clothing. So let's go ahead and do that as well. We'll put in another... Oh, we already have two though. That's the thing. Hmm. Guess we'll just have to... Let it play out, maybe? Three out of ten. Three out of ten, three out of ten. They're all three out of tens. 
Yeah. Well, those are two out of tens. Um, how our market it kind of gets over this area, but it doesn't. Kind of wonder if we should put in another market up in here, just so that way everything stays close by, nothing's too spread out. Oop, that's a warehouse. Let's do a market here. Take the road out and around. Connect it up there. Connect that one up there. Because these will be more houses here as well. Five out of ten. Alright, what else can we do here? Uh, trade union. We can put one of them in if we really wanted to, but... Those are only useful around areas like that produces, so we do need a harbor master's office, though. So where can we put this? We'll uh, put this in the middle here. And we'll connect that up like that. Okay. There we go. Alright. Now this we can actually build off of. Go to harbor. You can actually build piers. But you need bricks. So, we only have 12 bricks. These guys are working up here. We need to try to... Let me zoom out so I can see where the heck I'm going. I do need to extend this up. Get over to this brick, or the clay deposit, and also to this clay deposit. That way we can start... ...getting more bricks, but the thing is, when I do that, we're gonna go negative in the work, work workforce, and I don't want to do have that happen. So I want to make sure... These are slowly filling up as we go so that's good the more food we have the more people come in those are all eights sevens four 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 okay so it's like this one needs sausage and bread soap and a school in order to upgrade these guys um Trying to think what the next next population level workers workers I need a 750 workers is basically what it's saying. Upgrade residents. Digs is for the kids. More likely find me out and about them any. Yeah, I shut him up, didn't I? Alright, uh, 16 bricks. I think I need 25 for this as well. And 100 workers. So I'm kind of fighting between the two of them. Trying to wait on bricks and workers. Oop, these ones are ready. Alright, so got those two. So we're up to 30. Each house will add 10 more workers. So I need to upgrade pretty much at least these two and these four before I can upgrade or uh, open up the shipyard. Then I need to upgrade the rest of them so that way I can try to extend on up to these other clay deposits. There we go. These ones are ready. And... What did I run out of? Nothing. Why did that disappear? Now it's saying I can't upgrade it. But I got 10 out of 10. 
What am I? Oh, lumber. I'm out of lumber up here. Or timber, I mean. And this is another way I can upgrade too. I can just click on the house, and click on this instead of right clicking, hit an upgrade, and then having to re click on all the houses. So here it says I need four lumber, the upgrade cost. There we go. So now we're up to 110 workers. So now we can start Let's get dirt road on going on up here. Got four timber. I'm not gonna have enough timber to get across this river. So I'm just gonna extend the road out and over. So that's done. I just need to worry about working on this timber here. Get the bridge built. And then for this one, bring it out to there. Let's make sure we get this lined up the best we can. Get that there. So that's ready for that bridge to be built. Got 21 bricks, 9 lumber. I think I need at least 10 lumber for a bridge. If I'm not mistaken. 20 lumber, so I was wrong. Okay. Let's get off that road. 22 bricks, we need 25. Come on, we just need three more. Oh, three bricks and 20 lumber. So we need 20 lumber for that too. And for the church, we needed 25 and 20 as well. It's like his magic numbers, 25 and 20. Let's just go ahead and speed things on up here. So, um, we will end up blowing up this section of the mountain. You can see a little mine shaft right here. Um, that's part of the missions. We'll have to blow this up so we can get over here to get to the iron mines. And then we can start building our industrial stuff over here. Let's get this ship out of the way of the fishermen. Like so. Game can, we, can we get this to where it lines up, please? I'd like to... That's good enough. Good enough. Ooh, nice big jump right there. Let's uh, let's get this built so we can. Our city's historic first shipyard. We must document this moment in our first edition. Okay, time for a picture. Sailing shipyard. Take a photo. Let's try to get our small little quaint little town in here with our ship in there. I don't want the church in there because the church isn't built yet, so let's go ahead and snap that pic. Oh, the church is going to be in there anyway. Oh well. A perfect snapshot to illustrate history in the making. And that will be in the newspaper. The start of, there it is. if I dare presume, a most fruitful partnership. Phoenix from the ashes. Goods, heirs, create breakaway shipping company in the image of their father. Who they say was a man of principle. After all, there is no surefire evidence he did anything wrong at all. And that's all I can really read because I don't know what the article says. It's all blurred out. Chapter 2, Sign of Fire. Okay. So you build ships like your father. Well, the queen is in the direst need of ships. Supporting her will go some way to healing the wounds of the past. 
A commission for the royal fleet? And in such quantity? A rare honor indeed. The weaponry they ask for presents a problem. I'm not even sure we have an iron load, do we? Alright, so there it is. They're asking for the iron. We can build one of the ships right now. But we don't have any iron to build the rest of the ships. Or the two, the two gunboats we don't have iron for. The, the frigate, that one will need iron. And I will also need to ha be in the artisan era. I'll need some artisans. Um, to build, as you can see here, unlock condition, artisans. So, that one's going to take a little while to get to. I'm not going to build any of those ships for that particular, uh, quest until I can build all four ships in one go. So, we're still waiting on lumber and bricks for the church. So we need to click, uh, click on an iron deposit here. As you can see, click on iron deposit. So let's go ahead and click on one of those. I see the iron is beyond our reach. We have no choice but to find a way through the mountain. Found it. Still have a few sticks of dynamite. We can blow our way through. Select excavation site. Start phase. Perhaps this is going to take lumber and your sister, brick as well. But at least your workers can start their dig. So this could get kind of annoying. It's going to say that the work's been interrupted and stuff. But we do need to get a road up to it. So let's go ahead and... Oop, I don't want to bring a road off of that. Or do I? No, I'll go out and around with it. Let me get rid of this road here. That way I don't interrupt the lumber yard here the logging yard then I'll need a small warehouse that way these carts here why is it saying it's not connected that's weird It has to be connected. Game saved. No production. Because I need more materials for that. But that should start once uh, it gets the materials. Right now, the cart. Yeah, you can see the cart's highlighted. When I have that clicked, this is the cart. There's, there was nothing up here in this uh, warehouse when it first passed, so it's going to be what coming down to this thing. What are you both doing? Demolition is a serious matter wanting proper expertise. Father used Mr. Ticker on account of his good sense. Go on. I suggest you find him in Bright Sands. In Bright Sands. Okay, so we got to go back to Bright Sands. <clears throat> All right, so this is the industrial area of Bright Sands. And we need to find the explosive area, which is right here. As you can tell by the, the test craters <laughs> in the ground. And uh, also with the big stick of dynamite on the sign. So go ahead and click that. After the picket protests, many fine men left Bright Sands to join you. Then Edvard struck back. He imprisoned all who were close to your father, including my beloved Thomas. My husband and the others were deported to Wormway's prison, and I've heard nothing from him ever since. If you do find him unharmed, prithee tell him his wife yearns for his return. We are nearing the place your father died. Whatever happens, stay calm. So there you are, the traitor's children. 
How dare you? Thou oh, spare me the nauseating drivel. Flogging Queenie's peachy island in the new world to some rebel upstarts? Ha! <laughs> Traitor is too generous a word. Father would never have. He was the Queen's stalwart, a member of the Royal Council. He... He hung himself in one of my cells. I'd call that a rather conclusive admission of guilt. We did not come here to be insulted. We came to strike a bargain. The demolition man, Thomas. We want him. Oh, I vaguely remember him. Stubborn, with a loose mouth. Just as innocent as all the others. He is small, Fry. A bail has been set. Pay every penny of his money, and I will place him immediately at your disposal. I can't think why he'd be worth anything. Everyone here is beyond redemption. Alright. So once again, it's one of them missions where you gotta kind of find him. You can scroll over all the the workers in here. Um, th these ones all highlight, but once again, if you just kind of click on this and just kind of zoom you around to the area, see if hit this guy's it. Demolition. Yep. I could demolish a proper breakfast. Because before he was actually up here, so he, they do move. Okay, maybe that what guy wasn't it. Traitor or not, Samuel wouldn't have wanted his people to suffer for it. Okay, where's maybe this is him. Samuel Goods Engineer. Yep, there he is. Aye, that's me. Who's asking? All right, so they don't move. <laughs> That's the least I'm due for my suffering. Five thousand dollars for bail, eh? He is ready for transportation. Don't sound so thrilled. <laughs> A fire broke out. Uh oh. It's uh. We gotta get our ship over. Actually, yeah. Let's uh take a look at this fire. Where's the where's the notification? Where's the fire? Right here. And our fire department's already there. Do we have anybody else? Yes, mobilize our volunteer group out. Oh, we got another house over here on fire. So we got two apartments on it. We've got another one on the way. Stuck behind slow moving. Um, went through slow moving traffic. <laughs> we all like a nap in the orchard. All right, get that fire put out, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even mind the neighbor. We all like a nap in the orchard. Look at that! The fire is out. The fire has been vanquished. All right. So, do we have enough for this church yet? No, we still need. A little less than 10 bricks. Okay. Now, let's head back on over. I think we need to take our ship over, if I'm not mistaken. Get our ship. Where is... There it is. We gotta meet up with this guy. Let's get our ship over there. This guy's being overworked right now. And I can't do anything because of bricks. Um, I have enough workers. Let me see if I can build... 
Another clay pit. A couple more factories here. And I do need a small warehouse. So that did knock me down on lumber and a little... I don't know if it took me down on bricks or not, but... It did take me down 100 workers. That's the least of my worries right now. Oh, uh, we're in a good spot. So, like I said, you can just click on the house, click upgrade. Don't mind a bit, foraging. Like this. It is taking our lumber down, though, which is a bad thing, but at least lumber goes up quite easily. So, there we go. Oh, we got another mission here. Our ship isn't quite to the prison yet. Resident quest. Will you work your magic for us? What we do so love to see. It's always the same with old Harold. We arranged our protest on the 19th, but out he goes on the 9th, all on his own. Okay. His bad hearing is going to cost us our reputation. Please shut him up. I'm only a cog. It's you what pulls the levers. Okay. Let's see here. Find and collect old Harold. Let's see, where's old Harold at? Sozzle from Friday and Monday. Where is he at? I don't see old Harold around. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the picket. Sure. <laughs> a promise kept. Uh, harbor master's office, okay. Let's see. We got one of those harbor master offices, don't we? I think we put them in. Yes. All right, so we'll click on our trading post. Items usable in harbor master's office. Self-repair, 300% active healing. All right, let's take that and we'll just drop her on there. And now our harbor master office actually has that builder tool. All righty. All right, so our ship is over here. Keep an eye to the horizon for mystery. Oh, maybe we didn't have to bring our ship over here after all. Or did we? Yeah, we did. Because our ship is now following and I didn't even do anything. So, all right. So good thing we did that. So now we have Thomas, the prisoner, on his way over here. Game safe. This is still saying no warehouse in range when there's one right there. What is going on here? Is it for some reason it's it's acting as if There we go. Okay. So I was doing all that you know, it was all that time for nothing. I mean nothing's been loaded up to it or anything. Okay, so we're still waiting on material. We have the proper amount of bricks. We need one more piece of lumber. One more piece of lumber. Timber. My bad. Timber. Oh, and there went the bricks. Because we're loading it up on the demolition site. So now we have good versus evil here. Which is pretty bad wording because I'm trying to build a church. <laughs> All right, our ship is almost back to our port. Let's see if production we can... Production has stopped. Yes, I know construction has stopped because I don't have the proper amount of materials for you. Yes, yes, yes. Which, and honestly, this would probably take precedence over the other. This is 10 out of 25 timber and 10 out of 25 bricks. So this is pretty much going to take uh, all of our here. materials. Try to make a good first impression, eldest. Any friend of father is a friend of ours. Where did has he stopped. go? Where's he at? He's here, right? That's what they said. He's here. Oh, he's over here. Hiding in the trees. So, I'm a commodity now. To be bought and sold. Your father treated me like a human being. I don't know what you're trying to achieve here, but it won't bring Samuel back. 
Alright, so I think it's carrying five out of five on both things. So one more trip Reduction from this cart. Stopped. One more trip from this cart should do it for mining now. For you, mining for Eli. What's the difference? And then we'll get the stopped. Then we'll be able to get the church built. Because then the materials will actually start gathering back up for us. Twenty-five timber, twenty-five bricks. Bright sands will never be matched if that's what you're set on. Done. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and finish this phase. All right, so now we I'm need it to get. I'm still waiting for the boom. So are we. <laughs> All right, so we need. Sheep wool, or yeah, wool for uh, the the wicks for the dynamite. And we don't have any sheep farms readily available because everything's going towards sales and close. So let's go ahead and put another farm in. Might put another one in, even. Be honest with you. Let's put in a road here. Let's take it all the way up, so that way I can actually put the farm up here, even. Oops. There we go. And that should actually do fairly decent for us to get enough wool. Construction paused. Yep, yeah. so 0 out of 15. We're at 23 lumber for the church. So we got plenty of timber. I keep calling it lumber, it's timber. So, I need, what, six more bricks. And then we'll, do, we'll have the church done. Half tempted to go ahead and put this one in. That's going to take down the lumber. But it's needed. Because the bricks just aren't building up as fast as lumber is. Oh, we need workers. We need workers bad. And we're running out of lumber, which isn't good. We're starting to spread ourselves a little thin here. Actually, lumber's not going up. Timber isn't gonna be going up that fast either. It's like everything needs to be upgraded. It's like everything's hitting us all at one time right now. And we need to get workers, like, quick. Let's just upgrade these if we can. We don't have enough lumber. Timber. Ugh. All right. So, I think this is where I'm going to end this episode, guys. This one's been fairly long with all, like, the intro and just all the cutscenes. There isn't going to be as many cutscenes from now on. Um, so, this one here is actually going to be probably the longest one as of right now. Metal plows change things, I'll grant you. But for better, shut up. for worse. Oh, upgrade, then shut up. <laughs> so... That's where I'm going to end this one, guys. Please let me know if you guys like this. 
um, and uh, comment and all that good stuff. You guys know what to do on that. Um, just so that way I know if you guys want to continue seeing this in a series and uh, all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. The next time you guys stop by on here, we'll have the church done and uh, pretty much where we're left off here. I'll try to get all them houses built. You know, that we just placed in right here. Make sure all these get built. Make sure we have enough workers for the brick um, factories up there with the clay pit. And like I said, the church will be built. I won't do anything with the, the wall. I'll have the materials ready to go and all that will be good to go. But other than that, I'm not going to blow up the wall or anything until the next episode. So don't worry. You're not going to miss anything important. I'm just going to play a little catch up here, get everything built, and make sure I have enough workers for everything, and we'll be able to start moving forward again. So, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff, and don't forget to share. Sharing is caring, sharing is good, and all that good stuff, and helps the family grow. So, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.